Hey everybody, it's Brian. Welcome to our lesson on place value. So our lesson goal is number one, to line up numbers by their place value. Two, explain the difference between value and place value. Three, to compare and order decimals with a differing number of place values. And four, discuss the importance of decimal placement. Before we get started, we're first going to go over a place value chart, going back over some names of place values, looking at values, and we're gonna start with any number to the left of the decimal point, because those are place values that are most common that we work with. So if we look at that, the nine, the nine is what we call the ones place, and if we have nine ones, the value of those nine ones is nine. Next, if we look at the six, the six is in the tens place. And if we have six tens, that's worth 60. Moving along to the left, the five is in our hundreds place. And if we have five hundreds, that's worth 500. Before getting to our four, which is in the thousands place. And if we have four thousands, it's called 4,000. Now next, we're gonna look to the right of the decimal point, and any number to the right of the decimal point is called a decimal, and because it is part of a whole. Decimals are not larger than one whole, there are pieces of one whole. So that first place value to the right of the decimal is what we call our tenths place, and this is how it looks as the value. You'll look to see a zero decimal point two. Now these are called tenths because it takes 10 of them to create one whole. 10 tenths is equal to one whole. Next, the one is in what we call the hundredths place. If we have one hundredth, it looks like this. They're called hundredths because a hundred hundredths would also give you then one whole. Moving along to the eight, which is our smallest place value, which is our thousandths place. The value of eight thousandths looks like this. And again, this is called the thousandths place because it takes 1,000 of these to create one hole. A few key points. These are the most essential things for you to remember during this lesson. One, in order to compare numbers, we must line them up by the same place values. Or in this case, if their decimal point is present, that's what we use. Two, value is how much a number is worth but place values is where a number is located. Three, each time we move a decimal point to the right, the number gets 10 times larger. And the opposite case, each time we move a decimal point to the left, the number actually will get 10 times smaller. Few vocabulary words. When we talk about place value, place value lets us know where a number is located. If it's in the ones place, the tens place, the hundreds place, thousands place, but if we look at value, value will tell us how much a number is worth. Is it worth 10? Is it worth 50? Is it worth 300? Is it worth 8 hundredths? So if we look at the number 435, we have the four underlined because that's the number we're gonna talk about. The place value of that four is in the hundreds place, but the value of that four is actually worth 400. So the difference between place value and value. Now, we're going to go through each of our key points and discuss a few things before we get into some of our sample questions. So number one, in order to compare decimals, we must line them up by their decimal points. As you can see, we have three numbers here, decimal points not in the same order, not really on top of one another. So we're going to use this place value chart to really separate our numbers and line them up by the decimal point. So as you can see here, we have all of our numbers lined up. The decimal points are on top of one another. This makes sure that all the ones place are in line, all the tenths place are in line, all the hundredths, all the thousands are in line with one another. Next from here, we're gonna start from the left side. As you can see, this doesn't really help us because every single number is exactly the same. So we keep moving. If we looked at our tenths place, or the first place to the right of the decimal, we notice that we have a two, a three, and a one. The three is the largest of these. So that tells us that nine and three tenths is actually the largest value. We have to make sure we line up our place values because a common mistake is to choose the number on the bottom, nine and 156 thousandths, because people will think 156 is larger than three is larger than 24. 
when in fact, those spaces could really be filled with zeros. And that's actually 240,000s, 300,000s, 156,000s. If it helps to fill in those zeros, you can do that. Definitely helpful. Two, as we stated before, value is how much a number is worth, where place value is where that number is located. So another example, if we have 7,483 and we look at the seven, the place value that seven is in the thousands place. If we asked the value, it is 7,000 because we have seven thousands. Number three, each time the decimal moves to the right, a number gets 10 times larger. So say, for example, we have the number four. Now, any whole number at the end of that whole number to the right of the one place is always where that decimal point goes. So imagine I moved that decimal point one spot over to the right, add in that zero in that space, and now I have 40. Well, how does four become 40? In our minds, four times 10 will give us 40. So our number, when we move that decimal point to the right, got 10 times larger. But what if I wanted to turn four into 400? Well, I'd have to move that decimal point once, which would get us to 40, twice, which would then get us to 400. Now, each time I move that decimal point, it is 10 times larger. Now, a common mistake is to add 10 and 10 together to say 20, but it really means 10 times 10. So all together, four to 400, when we move that decimal point twice, it gets 100 times larger. So making sure that we are multiplying by 10 each time, not adding those together. And the last one. So each time the decimal moves to the left, a number gets 10 times smaller. So say we have the number 40, and we see our decimal point is at the right, at the end of the number, after the ones place. If we move it one time to the left and put that decimal point there, we get the number 4 which shows us that our number got 10 times smaller by moving that decimal point once. Now say we had 400. If I move that decimal point once, it gets 10 times smaller. Twice, another 10 times smaller. The total time, if I move that decimal point to that new space, it gets 100 times smaller. Again, 10 times 10, not 10 plus 10. And that's how we go from 400 to four by just moving our decimal points. So now we're gonna look at some sample questions. On the HESI A2, you're going to have to use place value understanding to set up all types of problems. So we are going to practice that now. Let's look at our first sample question. What is the value and place value of the eight in 438,591? Let's rewrite this number, and we're going to underline the place value that we're paying attention to. So first, let's start with our place value. Where is that 8 located? That 8 is located in the thousands place. If we have 8 thousands, what is the value of 8 thousands? It is worth 8 thousand. Good. Let's look at sample question number 2. What is the difference in value between the first 7 and second 7 in the number 456,789 and 7 tenths. First, let's pull out the first and second seven and see their values. Well, the first seven is in the hundreds place. So if we look at that seven right to the left of the eight, first we're gonna go from left to right. You could switch these around totally fine. Our first seven's worth 700. Our second seven is in the tenths place. So that's worth seven tenths. Now I wanna take my 700 and I wanna make it look exactly like seven tenths. So that means my decimal point has to move from where it is now to in front of the seven, which means I have to move that decimal point once, twice, three times for that decimal point to go in front of the seven. Now each time I move that decimal point to the left, our number got 10 times smaller. 10, another 10 times smaller, another 10 times smaller. So this is where that new decimal point is. Now, if we look at all of these, that's really 10 times 10 times 10. So my number changed by 
a thousand times. Our number from 700 to 7 tenths got 1,000 times smaller. Now, there's two ways that you can answer this question. You can say that the first 7 is 1,000 times larger than the second 7, or you can reverse that and say the second 7 is 1,000 times smaller than the first 7. And let's look at our final sample question. Which of the following numbers is greater? If you look here, we have 15 and 7 tenths, or 15 and 23 hundredths. I also notice that the numbers after the decimal point, we have two different amounts. Remember, we cannot just think, oh, 23 is larger than seven, so it must be 15 and 23 hundredths. Our first step is always to line up our numbers by the decimal point. So that's what we have here. We're lined up our numbers by the decimal point, and if you would like to, you can always add in that placeholder zero when you see that space. It does not change the value of the number. So then we start from our left side. Well, both numbers have a one, so that doesn't help. Next, the ones place, both fives, that does not tell us any difference. Then we look at our place value before the zero and the three. We look at that seven and the two. If we look here, the 7 tenths is larger, so therefore, this number is greater. So let's go over those key points again. In order to compare numbers, we must line them up by the same place values or a decimal point if it is present. Two, value is how much a number is worth, but place values is where a number is located. Three, each time we move a decimal point to the right, the number gets 10 times larger. And then number four, each time we move a decimal point to the left, the number gets 10 times smaller. Try out the sample problems, see what you're able to do. Always you can come back and look at this lesson, but best of luck.